Hi, in this video I wanted to talk about one of the responsibilities of an on-set DIT, uh, which is moving files safely from A to B and making sure nothing is lost in the process. So let's start off with um, why should you care? Why can't I just drag and drop uh, a file and, uh, and have it copied this way? So there are a couple of reasons why that can go wrong. Uh, first thing is your file might not get copied in full, right? Let's say you let a big, uh, you, you start a big copy process. It's a bunch of gigabytes. It's gonna take a, an hour maybe, right? And maybe you walk away and you like grab a coffee or like, you know, you're on your phone or something the process might fail at let's say like 60% copied, 70% copied, and you're not gonna know that the process has failed, right? Another thing that's cool to know and is one of the reasons why we use fancy software to copy files is it allows you to have a history of everything that you copied before, right? So you don't have to question yourself, hey, have I copied a camera from this day or have I not yet? Another reason why we use this fancy software to copy is it's nice to have a history of what you've already copied. Um, so you don't have to question yourself uh, if you started that copy process or not. This can get especially complicated if you have to back up uh, to multiple locations, right? So if you're not only copying to one hard drive, but maybe you're copying from the camera card to uh, multiple hard drives and uh, without using the right software you could easily forget if you've copied it to all of them or not. And lastly, we'd like to verify that things have been copied in full and the files have not become corrupt in the process. Another thing we want to do is we want to verify that everything has been copied in full, there's been no corruption and we want to leave uh, we want to leave a sign that this has been very uh, this has been copied with uh, with proper verifications, and those files are full, right? So let let me let let us walk you through this, and you're gonna see how this happens. So I've created a few folders here. I have a source folder. This could also be you can imagine this as your card from your camera, maybe or this is where you're copying files from, right? So in here I created two folders, I got some pictures, and we're gonna move them safely. So I've got destination one, which is empty, and destination two, just two empty folders. So we're gonna move to DaVinci Resolve. So in here I'm on the media page, and I'm gonna open the clone tool. I'm gonna add a new job. So we're going to put our source in and then we want to copy it to here and also here. Now in this drop down, you've got some options uh, regarding which checksum you want to run. I wouldn't change it from the default. Just stick to the MD5. Don't, don't overthink it. This is industry standard and it's great. So now we're going to press clone and complete, right? So this has been finished. Let's see. I'm going to open destination one. And our files are here, destination two, files are here. Now, this also creates an MHL file, which is a sort of key, which you can open later and make sure that those files are still intact. So those files could be copied down the, down the pipeline many, many more times. And this original key will let people verify that they have all the files um, and none of, none of them have become corrupted as they're being copied, you know, maybe 20 more times. And we also have a .txt with, the, with our checks and values. Don't have to worry about that too much. So what we're gonna do now, let's say we receive this from somebody and we wanna double check that all the files are here, so we're gonna use the Pomfort seal verify. It's a free piece of software that allows us to 
interact with the .mhl files. So I'm going to grab my destination one, drag and drop it here, and we're going to start verification. Now verification has been completed. We have one file that could not be verified. This is our .txt checksum. Um, because it's a new file, it's it's been introduced, so you know, don't worry about it. Uh, and here we can go to our files passed, and we can see all of our files have passed the verification against the .mhd, and uh, we also get all of their hash values here. So we can safely begin working on those files, and we can be sure that everything is correct as it was uh, straight out of camera. All right, that's the take on. Uh, using DaVinci Resolve and seal verify to copy and verify uh, files safely. See you guys.